In this problem, the acceleration a meters per second per second of a particle at time t seconds is given by a equals 3 cos 2 t i plus 8 sine 2 t j. At time t equals pi over 2, the velocity of the particle is 2 i minus 3 j meters per second. At time t equals pi, the displacement of the particle is pi i plus 2 pi j meters. Find the distance of the particle from the origin when t equals 3 pi over 2. OK, so first of all, uh, I'm going to need to integrate our way up to get to the velocity. OK, so we're going to have the displacement, we're going to have the velocity, and we're going to have the acceleration. Now, the acceleration is given by that 3 cos 2t i plus 8 sine 2tj. Now, cosine integrates to sine. So we're going to get 3 halves sine 2t plus a constant of integration, so c1i. Then, sine integrates to minus cosine. So uh, we're going to halve the 8, so we're going to get minus 4 cosine 2t plus another constant of integration, so c2j. OK, so what I'm told is that time t equals pi over 2, the velocity of the particle is 2i minus 3j. So at t equals pi over 2, we've got 2 is going to be equal to this i component. So I need to substitute pi over 2 into this. So I'm going to get sine of pi. Now sine of pi is 0. So that means that I get 0 plus c1. And so c1 is 2. And the uh, velocity is minus 3 for the j component, so minus 3. Substitute pi over 2 into this, and I get cosine of pi. Now, cosine of pi is minus 1, so this will be 4 plus c2, and so c2 must be minus 7. OK, so the c1 is 2, and the c2 is minus 7. Right, now I want to get to the displacement. So, I need to integrate this again. Now, sine integrates to minus cosine, so I'm going to get minus 3 quarters cosine 2t. The 2 integrates to 2t, and I'm going to get another constant of integration, so I'll call that k1. Now, cosine minus cosine integrates to minus sine. So we get minus 2 sine 2t. The minus 7 integrates to minus 7t plus another constant of integration, k2, j. So now, at t equals pi, the i component is pi. So, uh, t equals pi, cosine of 2 pi is 1, so we're going to get minus 3 quarters, plus 2 lots of pi, plus k1. So k1, if I add the 3 quarters to both sides, and then subtract 2 pi, I get 3 quarters take away pi. That's k1. So then, um, at t equals pi, I also know the j component is 2 pi. OK, so that's minus 2 lots of, well, sine of 2 pi is 0, so that's just 0. Uh, minus 7 lots of, of pi, minus 7 lots of pi. And then I've got k2. So I can add the 7 pi to both sides, so k2 is 9 pi. OK, right, so let's erase this. So I now have a vector equation for the displacement as minus 3 quarters 
cosine of 2t plus 2t plus k1, which was 3 quarters take pi i, and then j component minus 2 sine 2t takes 7t, and k2 was 9 pi j. So that is the displacement vector. Now I need to evaluate that um, when t equals 3 pi over 2. Now what have we got? So uh, cosine of um, 3 pi over 2 into that, so cosine of 3 pi is minus 1. So that gets us 3 quarters um, plus 2 lots of 3 pi over 2, so that's just 3 pi, plus 3 quarters, take pi i. Then we've got minus 2 lots of sine of 2t, so sine of 3 pi is 0, so that's 0. Take away 7 lots of t, so that's uh, take away 21 pi over 2. And I've still got that 9 pi on the end as well. Okay, so let's tidy this up. So we've got 3 quarters plus 3 quarters, uh, which will get us 6 quarters. So that's uh, 3 halves. So we've got 3 halves. Uh, 3 pi take away pi, so plus 2 pi. I. And then I've got uh, 21 halves plus 9 gets us 39, so sorry, minus 21 halves plus 9 gets us minus 3 halves. So I can do take away 3 halves pi j. Right, okay, so now I want to find the distance of the particle. Okay, so I want to find the magnitude of that vector. So the uh, vector is going down this way because we've got positive i, negative j. Okay. So we've got the 3 halves plus 2 pi, and then we've got the 3 halves pi. So the magnitude of s is equal to the square root of 3 halves plus 2 pi squared plus the 3 halves pi squared. Or the minus 3 halves if you like, but the minus will get cancelled out. So square root of 3 halves plus um, 2 pi squared plus... 3 halves pi squared, and we get 9.0986, so 9.10 to three significant figures, okay? So it's 9.10 meters to three significant figures.